Proposed extension of zero-rated value-added tax items present a chance for the Unity government to introduce innovative measures aimed at assisting financially struggling taxpayers. VAD is a significant revenue source for South Africa, generating 445 billion rand in the 2023 and 2024 tax year. Research by the Davis Tax Committee in 2018 revealed that the poorest 40% of South African households allocate about one-third of their income to food expenses, while the wealthiest 10% spend just 5%. Furthermore, an executive consultant at ENS Africa, Charles Devet, highlights that the current list of VAT Zero rated items includes only 19 food products, with meat protein sources notably absent, except for tinned pulchets or sardines. Meanwhile, in contrast, in many other countries with VAT or general sales tax systems, all meat and fish products for human consumptions are zero rated. Economist Professor Walter Krichel shares insights on this issue. The proposal that more food products should be VAT zero rated to relieve consumers of high cost of living has been around for some time. There are a few things to consider. If the government doesn't mind who gets the benefit, they just have to ensure that the zero rates are passed on to consumers and that they can afford to forgo the tax income. If they want to provide relief for poor households specifically, they have to zero rate products that poor households spend proportionally more on. For example, earlier analysis found that poor households save more from the zero rate on fresh cabbage, maize flour and paraffin, and richer households save more from the zero rate on vegetables and fruit. The 2018 report recommended that zero rates can be introduced on white bread, white bread flour and cake flour, school uniforms and baby diapers, as well as sanitary products. I won't get too excited yet, since tax changes can only be made in the main budget, and the Treasury has already said that they cannot afford the loss of income. Experts have recommended that an income grant is a better way of providing targeted relief to the poor and unemployed. We'll have to wait and see what happens.